This is section 13.4, and this is examples 2 and 3 in our notes. So in this case, we're going to use Green's theorem to evaluate this line integral. And we have a similar region. We have this little triangular region here. And um, this, you're going to find this is pretty similar to uh, example 1 in a lot of ways. But we're going to go from 0, 0 to, uh, let's see here, 2, 2, and uh, 2, 4. And it's positively oriented, which means that uh, we're going to go in a counterclockwise fashion like that. Um, okay, so that's going to be our region in there. And uh, we're going to find P, which is x, y squared, and Q, which is 2x squared, y. Again, that, that comes from the first and the second element in the um, line integral. And from P, we're going to take P, Q, or I'm sorry, uh, P, D, P, D, Y, which is 2x, Y. And from Q, we're going to do D, Q, D, X, which is 4x, Y. And Green's theorem says that we will take now a double integral of this particular region. I'm going to do this in, um, as X on the outside. So X is going to be 0 to 2. And then the inside will be in terms of y. And remember, if you look at our diagram over here, um, the lower function is uh, y equals x. Let's go ahead and label that. So this is y equals x. And the upper one is y equals 2x. So we have x to 2x. And inside, Green's theorem says that we take dq dx, which is 4xy. And we subtract dp dy, which is 2xy. And we've set this up as a dy dx order. So what we get then for our double integral is the integral from 0 to 2 uh, and the integral from x to 2x of 2xy dy dx. So that's our setup. That is the brand new stuff um, from here. All we're doing is chapter 12. So I will pause and rewrite the first antiderivative. Okay, so then there's our first uh, antiderivative there. We have the integral from 0 to 2, um, and then we have 3x to the third. And so then we just do our last step, which is going to be 3 fourths uh, x to the fourth, evaluated from 0 to 2, and that gives us 12. So there you go. That's example 2 using Green's theorem. Okay, let's tackle example 3. So example 3, we're going to use Green's theorem to calculate this sort of complicated looking line integral. This one looks like it'd be pretty awful to do um, without Green's theorem. So it says we have a positively oriented curve um, C, which is going to be the boundary of these two parabolas. So we have y equals x squared. And we have x equals y squared. And so the region that we're looking at is in between these two. Okay, so uh, again, let's let's just uh, go ahead and find p, which is going to be y plus e to the square root of x, and q, which is 2x plus cosine y squared. So again, looks kind of ugly. However, Green's theorem simplifies things down a lot. So we have the partial derivative of p with respect to y which is 1, partial derivative of q with respect to x, which is 2. That means that simplifies quickly. We have x from 0 to 1 and y from uh, x squared. So again, we're, this is all kind of chapter 12 now. So the lower, the lower function is uh, x squared. The upper function is the square root of x. And then inside here, we're going to do dq dx, which is 2, minus dp dy, which is 1. And we've set it up as dy dx. So there you go. We have 0 to 1 and x squared to x, uh, square root of x of 1 dy dx. OK, I will do the, uh, the algebra here and then uh, come back. OK, so here's our antiderivatives. And, uh, and then we'll evaluate this um, single integral uh, from 0 to 1 
and we get an answer of one third. So again, if Green's theorem applies, then um, you know we're in pretty good shape. It's not too awful in terms of the process. It, it does, it's pretty much uh, chapter 12 is what our techniques are after we set it up. Okay, the next video will be on examples um, four and five.